Hi, I'm Shaka Starks and welcome to my channel. In this video, I am making my DIY protein treatment using stuff I have at home already. And then I'm doing my silk wrap and showing y'all how I style my natural hair. So I start off by taking two regular old eggs and cracking them and then getting that yolk out because I just want the egg white. Then I add in some oil. I'm using some olive oil and I just mix it all together. This is pretty much the base of my protein I'm treatment. I'm going to use my DIY protein treatment. Then I'm going to shampoo, condition, and deep condition my hair. I got white strips on my teeth, y'all, because this is just what I do when I'm doing my hair. So I got my uh, protein treatment in my bowl, which is just egg whites and some olive oil you can also use coconut oil but i ran out and i'm going to add a little bit of my more curls curly hydration conditioner to the egg whites and the oh and the oil so i'm just going to mix it together and that conditioner smells so good this is what it looks like. Um, because my edges are extra fragile, I'm just gonna put some oil on them before I apply my protein treatment. And massage it in. So now that my protein treatment is in my hair and I've got it all clipped up, it feels good. Like, I don't know if, I guess because it's cold, I don't know, it feels really good on my scalp. But I'm going to go ahead and wash my hair off camera. Um, I already did a video of me washing my hair. So if you're interested in seeing it, go ahead and click right here um, and see how I wash my hair. I'm just going to shampoo one time with this Pantene um shampoo and then second time with this Emeka shampoo and then deep condition with my favorite um hair mask by Emeka too so I'll be back and then I'll show you how I blow dry and flat iron my hair for my silk press so now I'm going to blow dry my hair that's what it looks like I'm gonna spray it So after I spray my heat protectant, I go ahead and add this wild growth oil to my edges and just massage it in. Um, you know, I just want to be a little delicate with that area. And then I section off my hair. I detangle. And as I'm detangling, I'm like pulling my hair. I'm stretching my hair. Um, and I'm pulling it through the brush bristles. And I am drying from the root to the ends so i'm not how do i explain this i am not drying the entire section at once i'm going down really slowly so that as i'm moving this blow dryer um i'm not pulling or tugging at my hair and the ends do not get dry until you know i get to the end if that makes any sense you can see how i'm doing it I, once it's dry with the paddle brush, I then go through with the Dimmon brush to get it straight. And then I use this barrel, rolly, I think it's a barrel brush. I'm not sure what it's called, but that's what I do. And here I am in the front section one more time. You can 
see what I do. I'm pulling, I'm, I'm stretching my hair. I'm not really pulling it. I'm stretching it and then drying it all the way down. Now I am flat ironing just from the back to the front. I'm doing small sections, doing one pass. And I'm just gonna straighten my hair with this flat iron. Guys, the blow dryer does most of the work. So my hair is pretty straight here because I use those three brushes. And this flat ironing it just makes it nice and silky. So try to get it as straight as possible when you're blow drying. It'll make your silk press so much easier. So now I just go through my flat iron and I just curl those ends because the ends of my hair are so fine, y'all. So I just curl it so it gives me some body and it makes it easier to wrap. So now I'm just gonna trim this front piece. I'm just gonna dust it a tiny bit just so that it's even before I curl it. I'm about to wrap this joint if y'all don't know how to wrap your hair learn how to wrap your hair it's so simple i use a clip to help it stay in place so that it's not falling down um, and i just rotate from using a brush to a comb i go i start with the front half and i just move all the way around now i'm gonna take the saran wrap this is what's gonna make this joint a silk wrap it's gonna make it nice and shiny and silky and lock all that moisture the good moisture the good hydration in okay here's a hack i put my scarf in the freezer so it's nice and cold and my hair stays nice and cool underneath so that's what i'm doing so i'm back i'm dressed doing my makeup so let's see if this is giving what it's supposed to give. So I'm just gonna twist the joint off. It feels wet. It feels like it got wet when I washed my face. Look at my head. It feels wet. That's not good. I'm nervous. I'm a little nervous because it looks pretty good, but now I can see where I just want to clip. I just feel like it just like it just needs to, just need to kind of um It'd be times like this when I just like really just want to cut all of it. I legit thought about just cutting it all off. Like comment below if you, you have those moments. Today is not. Today is not the day. Today is not the day. Okay, so I'm just dusting it a little. Just so, so that it's a little more even. 
I don't know if it's because it got wet or what. It's a little better to me. So I'm gonna touch it up because it got wet. It got wet. Dang, I can't even wash my face. Something, it's always something, something. This is reality, y'all. All right, so I'm just gonna touch it up. probably end up like clipping it back like this or something or putting it up I will most likely not wear it down but this is how I like to wash and just you know press my hair when I want to wear my clip-ins or just give my hair a break from um, from sew-ins. Thank you so much for watching this video. Check out some of my other videos. If you liked it, be sure to give me a thumbs up and comment below and let me know if you would try this silk wrap with the uh, saran wrap and stuff. Um, thank you so much. I will see you in my next video.